Hello and welcome back to the metaverse. Merry Christmas tell who celebrate. I hope you all got what you asked for. I know I certainly did. A big old fat ass BBC for Christmas. What do you mean by that? Christmas is a time of many things. Family, food, friends, and fucking the shit out of your homies when they fall asleep. Hey yo, what the fuck? It's not gay if neither of you moan. Excuse me, For Honor has finally released some content worth talking about. And you know what that means. Time for the talking sentient eyeball to speak its subjective opinion on the internet for the masses of the world. First things first I'd like to give the For Honor team props, I do enjoy the new season vibes. Got me feeling all neospatian and shit, however that new Black Prior skin may either tie or take the number one spot, as the worst hero skin they've released so far. I thought Raiders looked like he was just cleaning chimneys for fun. But this one just looks like a basic ass skin for Black Prior. For the most part the hero skins look differently from the regular armor sets we get. But that BP one looks like it'd fit right at home with his garbage ass fashion. At this point they got a homie scared. They are going to but fuck the shit out of Gladiator when he gets his hero skin aren't they? All I want is Gladiator in a gimp outfit. Is that too much to ask? I just want to be dominated by Big Dick Volk. You're gay! You're- He's gay! I'm sure many of you are wondering why, but I am personally not a fan of the newer work for Volk. Does it make her more viable? Well obviously, the For Honor devs may be wild in in the studios, but they're not stupid. They wouldn't just rework someone if they were already fine or balanced. I may be critical of them but I'm well aware they're not idiots. However, Volk's rework just don't hit like it used to. At least in my opinion, I don't really understand what made them make her all guard bash the focal point of the kit. Personally I thought the heavy inter bash was at least better visually, I always thought she should have been treated like Griffin was. Just count the heavy off her guard break as the second heavy so it would immediately trigger her mix, speed up the sweep and her bash so it's unreactable. Flatten her side heavy's hitboxes. This way she can hit people dodging around and randomly catch people in team fights, and other simple details, like quality of life shit, like her guard break not being T-Rex mode. For me at least, her moveset feels weird, when using her it feels clunky and a lot less fluid than other characters who've received reworks in the past few months. However going against her, it's the same shit you've seen before. Speed up the animation and make it look like what happens if you freeze a movie in between frames. Everything just looks blurry. The one thing I wanted was her guard break to not be a big fat steaming pile of shit, but it still feels like she has the worst guard break range in the game. I swear to god this bitch has T-Rex arms. I say all this because personally, I don't like her design. You're certainly welcome to, but for me at least, this row work is a 3 out of 10. Maybe my mind will change eventually but as of right now. This may be my least favorite rework since season 6 when they reworked PK and Dorichi. I will say however, Chiandi and Jorms, seem pretty fucking lit. I'll have videos on them coming out after the holiday season. Out of the 3 I'll say Jorm feels great, and I can see a lot of changes happening on the current version but overall it's a 8 out of 10. I've said it before and I'll say it again, in my personal opinion. Shaolin and Kensui are probably the best reworks in For Honor, and by that I mean, every move they have flows seamlessly into the next, almost as if you were using an actual fighter, it doesn't feel like anything is locked out at any point, to me, that's my standard in terms of fluidity of movement in characters, the ability to be a toolbox, having a weapon or ability for any moment is what I believe is the pinnacle of a fighting game character. I should say for the people in the back who take my words as gospel, this is all my opinion. I'm just a shitter who makes their opinions known. There is no reason to bust your load all over your keyboard because a ribal on the internet said Volk feels like wiping your ass with sandpaper. But what are you guys thoughts on the Volk in the new season as a whole? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to push the discussion further. I usually respond to everyone. And until next time.